Hi, my name is Ben and I design and fabricate mechanical contraptions. Last spring, I was at a robotics competition and another team had a dual speed gearbox on display. There are some designs on the internet for things like this, but few are fully designed, fabricated, documented, and tested. So I set out to independently develop a solution that uses low cost machines. To start, I analyzed current solutions and discovered that a lot of space is used to make the engineering easier. Also, under the motors there's a pneumatic piston, but the rest of the space is wasted. By having three plates with bearings, I can move the second stage of gearing and the shifting mechanism to make the whole gearbox smaller. A few other features of my gearbox that save space and weight include tightly packed motors, a flip pneumatic cylinder, and optimized weight reducing pockets on the plates. Now let's discuss the actual fabrication of my design. For the years leading up to this project, I had slowly been turning my garage into a miniature machine shop and learning about CNC technology. This is the shop where most of my work was done. Most of the parts were machined on my Spoko 3, a lightweight CNC router that I've upgraded to cut aluminum. The cam package that I use is HMS Express, and I use two and 3D tool pads. Accuracy was important for this project, so many parts were held with custom jigs, some reusable, and others machined in place. Additionally, extreme care was taken in the squaring and tramming of the machine. This is a full assembly of my gearbox. As with many good designs, the assembly tools that are used are quite basic. Just some wrenches, screwdrivers, and a torque wrench. My design also must be tested, so I built an electronics and pneumatics board in order to test my design. A gloved hand will provide resistance which is needed in order to properly shift. This is another view of the shifting action in slow motion. This project is taking my design and fabrication skills to a new level. Thanks for watching!